A father and football coach in desperate need of a kidney. And tonight, a tight-knit community in Central Mass is coming to his aid. John Snunian has coached Neshoba Youth Football for the past year. Both his sons are on the team. And as Shante Land shows us, the town is getting behind him to help him find a donor. It's a fuel that really energizes me. Led by his youth football team, Coach John Snunian became an honorary captain of Neshoba High School football team. It's really overwhelming. Um, it's overwhelming. It's uh, really, a, a, I would say, a fuel that is keeping me uh, going through these challenging times that I'm facing medically. Coach John, as his players call him, has had diabetes for more than three decades. Last year, both of his kidneys failed. And now it's at a situation where it's, it's really critical. Which is why his players, who are between the ages of 8 and 10, band together to help find him a kidney donor. At least a dozen potentials signed up to be a match. So far, they haven't gotten anything yet, but I know they'll get something soon. Vincent is one of two of Coach John's sons who play on his team. His wife is an assistant coach. He was accepted onto the transplant program at UMass Worcester and started peritoneal dialysis in March. And he's currently hooked up to the machine seven nights a week for 10 hours at a time. But tonight, John forgot the pain. As honorary captain, the father of four led the coin toss. And although John Sanunian's players are glad to see him at this game, that hasn't always been the case because of his health. He can no longer attend practices. Because last year he was here like all the time, and it, it doesn't feel right, really. Thank you. Coach John's energy returned to the field Friday. Neshoba beat Middlesex 42 to zip to remain undefeated. He keep pressing on and uh, wanting to have the will to keep going so that I can be you know, part of this wonderful community for you know, years to come. In Bolton, Shante Lands, WBZ News.